Hi guys, today we're going to see uh, an error that happens that uh, the future is not available in your region when you're trying to access uh, crypto on your PayPal. I have a US uh, account and when you're trying to access crypto on your, sorry, when you're trying to access crypto on your PayPal, you actually made with a message that it's not available in your region. But who knows what the future holds? You can always check back again and download. Okay, stuff like that. Okay. So you're going to see how you can fix this, what causes it, and how you can solve it. Now, the, we're going to look at almost four or five scenarios. Uh, if you're kind of a person who went to US and your account was created outside US, uh, this you just have to actually delete the account and create a US account because not every account, not every PayPal account can access PayPal. But let me assume you're in US, you are within US, you create your account in US and you still have this problem. You may actually have ever transacted even Bitcoin or uh, on your uh, bit crypto on your PayPal, but you are today getting a problem like this. Okay, we're going to see how to fix it. Now, first of all, uh, there are two scenarios. Sometimes the message is like this, or the message is like this. Now, if you get a message like looks like something went wrong on your PayPal, you just have to refresh or log out and log in again. Now, it looks like something went wrong on your PayPal. This time, times even actually happens on other scenarios, not only when you're trying to access crypto on your PayPal, but it can even act happen when you're just even creating an account it means sometimes you kind of delayed and the cookies kind of expired in your browser so you just have to refresh okay so this is minor this is an issue that you can take away by just refreshing okay it's not a big deal so that one fixes that but the main issue is if you're getting this not a revenue region if you're trying to access bitcoin then the first thing you have to check is you have to have an address which is in US in your PayPal account. But let me assume that one is fixed because you're in US and your account, your address is in US. So number one, I assume is fixed. Okay. You have an address for US. Two, you have to make sure that you don't have notifications. Okay. Currently, I don't have notifications in my paper. You just make sure you don't have pending notifications, especially notifications which are asking to verify your maybe identity, stuff like that. Make sure you actually uh, like submitted info to access your account, okay? In this scenario, if you're having this station like this, you may not be able to access crypto in your PayPal in US. You may have to make sure like you verify your identity, okay? Let me assume you submitted your identity, you, you know, your SSN was verified and everything is fine. Uh, option number three is uh, what may be uh, bring the problem is your uh, how you're logging in into PayPal, okay? How you're logging into PayPal. For example, <clears throat> I have lots of my friends who are actually in US and usually get this problem. Sometimes they have a VPN active. For some reason, PayPal and VPN, they actually kind of don't actually work well. Actually, this again is the terms and conditions. Sometimes you can even be locked out of uh, of having a VPN when you're accessing PayPal. So make sure you don't have a VPN when you're trying to, uh, to access crypto on your PayPal. This can even happen even if you have been uh, doing well sending, uh, sending and receiving uh, crypto on your PayPal. The moment you have a VPN, VPN can kind of mess up. So let me assume the address is US, okay? You don't have pending um, questions from PayPal in your account. You have not been using a VPN and still you, you, have, been, you have been shown not to have in your, your, your region. The last thing, number four, you have to be aware is PayPal has a security system. It's more of an AI it might have actually fragged your IP address or this kind of a suspicious activity. 
when you're accessing your account, maybe you have been changing multiple devices at the same time. This is something that you'll find uh, when you look for, uh, there's a community, uh, someone was trying to, had a similar issue, was trying to actually, was having a problem with send and receive um, crypto and he was actually doing it well. If you look at some of on the thread and you realize actually uh, the problem was PayPal sometimes they can, if they detect something unusual or suspicious, they are actually their security system can kind of actually mess up, uh, not mess up, but can kind of restrict you from doing, from accessing crypto. Okay. So sometimes it's not a problem with your account. Sometimes it's actually PayPal uh, security system, which actually sees there's a problem. Are uh, you accessing crypto on your account? In that case, what I actually advise is reaching out to them. And it's better if you reach out to them on their X, which is usually X, I think, uh, X slash, uh, I think X slash ask PayPal, something like that. They actually can easily be accessed by their, their, their Twitter than actually other platforms, or you can actually give them a call and they can try to actually sort you out, okay? So that's how you can fix note of revenue in your region. It's something sometimes which is actually beyond the issues in your PayPal. It's just actually a security system kind of flagging your device, okay? Yeah. And also maybe you can try to log in from a device that you usually use, but usually those are the issues why you may fail to access crypto on your PayPal account, okay? See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like my video. Subscribe if you're interested in getting videos about PayPal and other stuff, okay? See you guys. Bye-bye.